here we are discussing a topic that is known as the recovery schemes. Let us suppose a failure has occurred in the system and the current transaction has got aborted. How to get back the system to its consistent state? So, here we can have two suggestions. One is your forward error recovery and another one is our backward error recovery. Now, what is the forward error recovery? The forward error recovery means the current state which is inconsistent because the system has had some failure will be extrapolated to the next intended consistent state. That means some adjustments are to be done within the system so that it will go to that particular state which was intended after successful completion of that aborted transaction. So, that is our forward error recovery and in the backward error recovery, we should have to bring back the system to a certain previous state which was known to us and was in a consistent state. So, let us discuss this one with this note. So, forward error recovery, system is migrated to extrapolated intended state if there was no error. So, if there was no error, what will be the intended state? So, to that particular state, the system will be migrated, not applicable to unanticipated errors, but when the errors are unanticipated, then this sort of forward error recovery routine may not get executed. In the backward error recovery, system is reset to some previous correct state that is known to be free of any error and consistent. So, that is our backward error recovery. In this particular error recovery schemes, let me discuss some more other issues. So, here the issue is failure anticipation and recovery. So, now we can have three different, four different types of failures we are having. So, first one is failure without loss of any data. That means the failure has occurred, the system has crashed due to some uh, that failure, but there is no loss of data. The state of the system is reset to the state which is which existed before the start of the transaction. That means the loss of data has been removed because we are issuing the backward, backward error recovery so that we will be retrieving our system back to, to some previously known consistent state. Failure with loss of volatile storage. We know that that very memory, that very storage will be known as the volatile storage whose, which is requiring power supply to hold its data. So, active trans, uh, transactions is terminated in an unpredictable manner before it reaches its commit or rollback state. A transaction which was executing due to this particular failure has got aborted, has got terminated in an unpredictable way and before it reaches to the commit that means to make the change permanent, roll back to make the change undone. So, before issuing this particular state, the transaction currently executing transaction has got terminated and contents of the volatile memory is lost. So, what about the contents which was there in the volatile memory due to abnormal termination of the transaction has got lost. Failure with loss of non-volatile storage. Non-volatile means the permanent storage that means it does not require power supply to hold its data. If the power is off then also it will be holding its data. But due to head crash on a disk drive or errors in writing to a non-volatile device this particular loss of data on non-volatile storage may take place. So, there are some problems with the storage uh, hardware due to some head crash, due to some bad sectors, maybe due to the hammering, maybe due to the shaking of the uh, respective uh, device. So, the data might be lost due to the introduction of bad sectors and so on. So, in those cases, the loss of data will take place from the non-volatile storage. Failure with loss of stable storage. In the previous video, we have discussed what is a particular stable storage but there also the data might be lost. But my question is coming why? Due to natural and man-made disasters. 
so due to the natural and man made disasters the loss of stable storage may take place recover requires manual regeneration of the database so manual regeneration of the database we know that it is very laborious tedious time consuming but there is no other way remedy is storing in multiple copies in physically secured environments and in geographically dispersed locations so that we can save our data from the natural disasters or say man made disasters so this is my failure with loss of stable storage so in this way we have discussed everything we have discussed under the topic recovery schemes thanks for watching this video